guys, welcome back to this week's Bracket Life Brand YouTube channel. This week we are heading out to Edmonton for the Oil City Classic event. with a few of our friends. So far, having a lot of fun. Uh, should be good. Should be a good day. Double entry in the truck today, so we'll see. 19 on the tree the first time, so see where we are again and go from there. Quick little rain delay.
time, show time, never back in downtime. One shot, yo, make it count, yo. Crunch time, shine time, make this moment my time. Get a grip, yo, ready, set, go. We bring the thunder. Bring the thunder. Hello and welcome back to day two of the Oil City Classic. Uh, back in the truck again today, two entries. Yesterday we had some problems round two. Uh, the floats for the carburetor were running low. So uh, we're guessing that we were running out of fuel at the top end. So when I was on it, on the, uh, on the starting line, it was pretty good. So happy with that so far. And as long as we got that problem worked out, we'll have a good day running for 10 grand in the first race for the main event and then uh, the shootout race tonight is for 30. So I'll be driving the truck as well as long as everything uh, works out. We'll keep you updated, but yeah, it's been good. I'm having a lot of fun. I love driving this thing. Day three, here we go. No update last night. Uh, rough day. Well, not too bad. Uh, fighting with the truck a bit all weekend is what it is. Uh, working through it. So I think I'm pretty sure I'm driving I was a long skinny unit here for at least one entry today. It's gotta be fun. Either way, I'm uh, pretty sure we got all the bugs in the truck fixed. So, either one. I'd like to turn some wind lights on in this thing too. Just to say that I did. But no, it's been fun. Either way, meeting all the people, seeing everybody that knows Bracket Life and follows us is a really cool experience. And then everybody else, just the way they do things here is really cool. So we'll give you an update about that and then let you know how it, you know, all goes, everything we learned. Um, yeah. Pretty cool time. Also kind of our last day in Alberta so we're just kind of soaking up every last minute and it's been a blast getting to meet everybody um, we've had so many people um, here that have been watching our broadcast that know who we are and we finally get to um, put um, a face to the name so we've seen so many of you guys online and it's been really cool to um, meet everybody it makes me want to come back here all the time so yeah things have been really good and we're hoping for an even better day to finish off our weekend here in Alberta Guys, that is it for our racing trip to Alberta had a lot of fun uh, didn't have as much success as I would have liked to have had today got to double enter the dragster which was cool uh, started you know low 460s high 450s it was fun my first time driving a TNT dragster which was nice it was a very nice car uh, worked excellent so thanks to Dwayne and Travis for letting me drive their stuff all weekend uh, with the truck you know we had our problems with it but uh, a lot of those rounds I think could have been winnable with a better finish line uh, execution by myself but tough jumping into it um, to something you're not used to driving and then there are so many fast door cars out here like even being separated like I ran a majority of 490 or very quick five second door cars and you know 
so then top to drive the drive the finish line like that um and was kind of all over the place the dragster just pulled in the lanes wrong apparently uh scott hearn wore me out round one in one of my entries and yeah lost this lost the buyback round there um and then jason pad gave me uh, a good you know show uh round two where i was all done so uh but it was good rolled in there and run two heavy hitters so stood a good fight you know put up a good fight was good on the tree did what i can do um everything was moving around today uh hot track everything like that and just got wore out but it happens had a lot of fun i was glad that we got to do it great experience to be out here to meet so many people uh the coolest part for me uh, and i think rachel will tell you the same is so many people that know what bracket life is and follow us on you know all of our youtube stuff like the vlogs like this uh the broadcast that andrew and myself do and then everything on facebook and instagram so neat for people that catch up and keep up with us um and then we had i was blown away by the bracket life stickers that were on race cars when we rolled in um and then obviously we kind of gained more as the weekend went on we handed some out sold a lot of t-shirts which was awesome um it's great support from that had a lot of winners uh with bracket life on the race cars which was cool um we'll do a full conversation about it with andrew uh next week like we'll get heavy into it um about all the details once i kind of go through sit back think about what actually went on and process the whole thing but yeah great experience different style of racing i guess more of a finish line thing that i needed to have coming into this weekend to find success but really big pitch i think it only is going to make me better as a racer uh for this so for anybody watching this look out next weekend uh for this um the super tour race coming back for so it'll be fun i'm excited got to meet some really awesome people um which was cool so really uh ridiculously fun time so obviously like i said wish there was more wind lights would have loved more on track success uh, i said i feel like i i had a bit of a chip on my shoulder coming in um that i needed to prove something to someone um <clears throat> didn't do that i don't think a little bit maybe but uh, at least you know showed up put my money where my mouth is um but now that that chip right there is about 10 times heavier so if all goes well we'll be able to come back and try it again sometime uh at one of travis's races or one of the awesome you know multiple great races they have here so yeah it was a lot of fun happy with it glad that we got to do it uh you know once in a lifetime kind of deal to get the opportunity to come out here and start driving for somebody else so yeah see what happens flight leaves tomorrow morning around 10 something like that so gonna hang out for a bit have dinner with everybody and then get everything packed up and head home we'll be talking to you sometime soon we made it back to Toronto.